everybody, we're, we're back. back. So we're at the hottest spot in Buena Park, California. It's a place called Porto's. We're here to get some food, so come with us. Let's go. Porto's. Okay, look at all the people here. So this is the hottest spot in Buena Park. Look at the line. I'm told, we're told it's like this all the time. Um, fun fact, Porto's is a Cuban base. No, it's a Cuban restaurant that's based only in LA and Orange County. Yes. It's a Cuban bakery, cafe, and they're only based, they were started in Los Angeles. And our neighbor, for confirmations. Oh, our neighbor happens to work here. Um, look, there's like little lounge. She's letting all the people in. I think that's that's her right there in the front. Yeah. Yeah. Let's zoom. Okay. I want to get some footage in here. Let's see if we can get some footage in here. Casey's gonna go in. Okay, we're gonna sneak in. Casey's in. So I'm gonna go in. Okay, this is it. So they have drinks. It smells very coffee-ish in here. Oh, there's the coffee, coffee bar, that's why. Okay, we're over here. I think she's putting in an order. This is Dylan. Hi Dylan, how you doing? Oh my gosh, I'm doing so good now that you guys are here. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit of like, what do you make here? Um, I do the cakes that are on display, the cake slices that we're working on. I do fruit tarts. That's about it. Just like the sweet pastries, other people do the savory ones. Nice. And is it always crowded like this? Every single day. It's actually mellow, believe it or not. Um, we haven't gotten the after church rush yet. Uh, but yeah, this is this is pretty mellow. But so the, it's getting ready to get worse. Yeah, but our production numbers are high, so. Nice, nice. Oh, it's crazy. All right. What cake are you making? Oh. It looks good. Wow. Um, this is the one that you guys saw. Mm -hmm. Um, it's just a regular chocolate cake. It's a lot less sweet. Um, for me personally, I do think it needs to be a little more rich. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I like it because it's not as sweet as yeah. those chocolate cakes. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Good. Okay. Where do we, so where where do do we go? Ooh, I recommend the cheese rolls, the potato balls, the guava cheese strudel is really good. Uh, the coffee cake also, but it only comes in a big one. You can't get like you can't a small get a, you can't get a piece. Um, let's see. What did I say? Cheese rolls, guava cheese. The pasitos. We have hazelnut and we have a dulce, dulce de leche one. Both are chef's kiss. Okay. That's what I would recommend. There's okay. a lot of good stuff in here savory wise. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Awesome. So where do we go from here? Yeah, where do we go order? <laughs> yeah. uh, I'll meet you guys all the way down to the end. Okay. <laughs> All right, again, the coffee bar. There's lines that go this way. This place is huge inside. Here is the originator, Rosa. She's the founder. Still lines, more lines. Bakery. We're gonna look at some of these goodies here too. Okay, I'm gonna come over here, see if we can film some of these goodies. Look at all this. Oh, those are like beautiful. Oh, tartlets. Yes. These are all so good. And everybody's covering all the other stuff here. We have muffins. Wow, look at this place. Sandwiches, they have breakfast. They have a French toast, Cuban French toast. 
Look at this place, it's huge. We're told the potato rolls are really good. We're gonna try those. Let's walk over this way and see what's over here because there's a line over here too. It's just another line. Oh my gosh, I see something amazing. This is the bread side. Oh man. I gotta zoom in on all those breads. Look at, look at the breads back there. Look at them all just sitting there waiting. That's all breads. Yes. I'm telling you, as you can see, there's lots of places to sit. This place is huge. They have outdoor seating. This place is packed. You want your coffee, you want your breakfast, you want your lunch. You come on down to Porto's. There's all kinds of things. This is incredible and crazy. And this is the slow time. It's gonna get worse. So let's see what we ordered, okay? Back here for a moment. Here's, they got some goodies back there. That looks like the cakes and the big tartlets that people pre-order or that they've just made. Uh, but that's a big fridge. That is a big fridge full of goodies. And here's some more goodies here. Look at those. Nice. Nice, I love those little things. I've had them before, I don't know what the name of them are. There's some more back there, cooking, baking. Man, this place is hopping and busy. I'm telling you. Rosa? I don't know if Rosa is alive. But Rosa, you've done a great job. Again, an LA-based bakery cafe. Casey's over there getting an order in. So we're told this line, because it zigzags out here and then comes on in here, you'll easily wait an hour and a half. This is crazy. Man, but it does, it smells straight up like coffee. All right, let's see what we ordered. Okay, what did we order? A lot, I don't. <laughs> we ordered potato balls, we ordered ham crockets, we ordered gua the guava cheese streusel, which to be honest with you, I'm a little afraid of because I just, worry about guava and cheese a cake slice and thank you girl look at that this is the cake slice dylan made wow. um and a chocolate croissant because you all know diane and i love a chocolate croissant yes oh and we got two drinks this is a hibiscus tea and they have a black tea that's uh they're unsweetened so this is not black tea this is diet dr pepper yeah. or, i'm sorry diet coke they don't have dr and pepper. what are we waiting on our French toast. Cuban French toast. I'm so excited we saw some go by. Oh, it looks so good. Oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, this is the pounds at Porto. And from what we've been told always, this is always the crowd at Porto. She said this is the low time. Yeah. So, I would like to say we over ordered. Um, and I'd Don't also, we always? I'd also like to say I cannot give you an accurate count of how much this costs because Dylan got us a discount. Yes. So we it, paid twelve dollars for everything. It pays to have the Porto's pastry, pastry chef, chef live as a next neighbor year. and be your friend. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, so it's really chaotic in there. Yeah, and she uh, but, said it was a light day. Yeah. Like, but they they seem to have Everything. like order. Yeah. yeah, they know it's like organized chaos. I guess yeah, it is. It's organized chaos. Um huge in there as you guys saw. Um so Knott's Berry Farm is down that way. It's off of Beach Boulevard. If you take the 91 and you're 
you're going to Disneyland and Knott's Berry Farm, it's off of Beach Boulevard, close to the 91 it's freeway. It's literally in between the Pirates Adventure Dinner Show and Medieval yeah. Times. Like, you can't miss it. No. Porto's, um, Bakery and Cafe. And if you're in Northern California, they're opening up one in Northridge in like, I don't know if she said a couple weeks or a couple months, but yeah. one's opening in Northridge. Right. So I'm going to try the hibiscus tea. Their Diet Coke tastes fine. Tastes like Diet Coke. Hibiscus tea. You like it? Yeah. I feel like it'll make your mouth pink, but I don't know. No. It's good. Okay. So we got lots of stuff. I want to yeah. show it. Don't knock your drink over. I'm not going to knock my, knock my drink over. Okay, so this is the potato balls and the ham croquettes. croquettes. Ham and cheese. Ham and cheese croquettes. I thought it was a breakfast thing. I didn't know it was a mozzarella stick. Take that lid off. This is the Cuban French toast. That looks Man so Almighty. So good. The, the, the people that um, ordered for here, yeah. their plates were amazing. Yeah. So. And then this is the cake that Dylan was talking about. Dylan made this Dylan cake. Made this cake. We, were, we saw her prepping. Yep. So this is a finished product. And then we got a chocolate croissant because Diane and I can't oh, not get that. a chocolate croissant. And then what are these? These are the guava and cheese streusels. Oh, those look so good. I should have got coffee. You should have got insulin. I want to try the potato balls. All right. Potato balls. There's good stuff in it. Surprises. I wasn't expecting that. No. I thought it was just a ball of potato. Mm -hmm. That's fun. I love me a potato. Mm. Uh, mashed potatoes are my jam. I'm gonna take another bite to get a full. I did. I don't know what the meat is, but it's very good. I like the. It's got a nice crunchy outside, like a light panko crust. So good. I think it's good. Mm -hmm. I like the consistency of the potatoes. I wish it needs salt. Like I think that the meat, yeah. I think it all needs salt. But okay. that is really good. You can see the little bits of ham peeking out right there. I'm excited for these. It is also a potato ball, but with ham and cheese in it. A little dry. Yeah. Dry, kind of pasty. Very hammy though, like, you know that smoky, that yeah. smoky flavor from ham? Um, Very hammy. Yeah. Between the two of these, I like the potato balls better. This and does again, kind of I'm gonna paste say, in your mouth. It needs salt. I would yeah. agree with that. I really do like the potato ball, yes. This, the taste isn't bad. No. It's just pasty if mm -hmm. you're a texture person. Yeah. And then they both need salt. Yeah. So, yeah, they're good. They're good. But the potato ball wins. The potato, out of those two, 100% yeah. potato ball wins. Let's get to the sweets. <laughs> what do we want to try first? Everything. Um, Dylan was really excited over that cake. Let's try the cake. So we're going to try the cake. Um, they didn't give us utensils. Casey went back in and asked. So there were utensils in the bag with French toast. Um, but I didn't know that. Oh, and there's salt and pepper in there. Well, I'll finish my potato bowl. All right. Now, I want to... Did we show the cake uh -huh. um, open like this? It's so pretty. Look at this. You're fine. And I don't know if you can get it in like um, a round cake option, but this is the one that she said it's not super sweet. Feels fluffy. Mm -hmm. It's good. It is fluffy. Um, yeah, it's super fluffy. Look at, notice my second bite's bigger. And. The cream is like airy. This cake is on point. I love, I love the frosting. And what's weird is I normally don't like like a whipped cream frosting. She doesn't like cake. I like a buttercream frosting. This is 
I don't really care for chocolate either. This is That's really so good. good. I don't know, is it just me or do you get like a little mocha taste? I don't get any coffee. I, I, maybe I wish there was coffee. Yeah, this is Cakes. Cake fire. spot on. Mm -hmm. What's the name of it? Cake. Cake. Dylan, she watches our channel. Put yeah. a comment, what's the cake called? Yeah. Delicious comment, is comment the cake. everybody. What it's the cake is called is delicious. Fluffy. <laughs> Fluffy good. All right, we're gonna go for the Cuban French toast. And when we were talking to Dylan, she said she wants an honest review of the food. So far, so good, everything's Listen. good. Listen. We're gonna come back because, so I thought the ham and cheese croquette was, was like, like a sandwich. Like a breakfast sandwich. Yeah. Shocker, it wasn't. Yeah. But they have like ham and cheese croissants, mm -hmm. like breakfast sandwiches, so we're gonna they have to come back us. to try those. Yeah. Those look so Breakfast good. sandwiches walked by us and, and I was like, it's breakfast time, why didn't we get breakfast? Yeah. But the slices on this, they're so, they're fat. I think we, I already showed them, but I'm gonna show them again. Look at that. And then look at, I love this. Oh, that's so cute. I love this. And then what's this stuff? I might have just eaten butter. What's this? I think I think that's butter. This is butter? I think so, and I just like ate it. That's okay. Like a strawberry sauce? This is like a guava sauce, it's so good. Oh. Yeah. Um, but to me, butter's a dip anyway. Right, so. you guys all know how Diane feels about butter. Yeah, so I'm gonna butter mine. Casey probably will not butter hers. I love the little, the little cauldron. It comes in. Okay. Just like for real. It's obscene. I'm just you gonna, I'm a dipper. You just, oh, okay. You're not a dipper. She's not a dipper, I'm the dipper. I'm gonna dip in the guava. That's what I did. I'm gonna put a piece of strawberry on it. And I'm gonna put, what is this? Blueberries? Blueberry, I'm one of those. Uh, it looks like mango. Give me, a, give me a bite of that. I'm going for the whole, I'm a full Monty. All of it. Mm -hmm. So while she's chewing, I'll talk about my thoughts. Don't come in expecting French toast. It doesn't, it, I don't taste that like, that signature like. It's, it's a cinnamon flavored COVID now riddled French toast. <laughs> it's not a screaming child, it was a COVID child. Um, <laughs> listen. It's Cuban French toast. It's good. No, I'm not. It's not. It's the bread. The bread is like, look at it. It's like a, like a brioche or something. We should ask what bread they, and try it in, in the form of the, the dip and the berries and. <laughs> okay. It is different. But it's so good. She's our French toast liker. I usually like pancakes. Well, I mean, she's taking like four or five bites, so. Yeah, it's good, but it's not what you want. It's, it's not, not the what French I toast. It was. Okay. Um, I, I like it. So that's all I'm saying. It's not bad. This guava sauce is on point. The whipped butter by itself was delicious. It's just the bread, but look at the layers in there. No, I know the air, like it's so airy. Yeah. I like it. It's super good. And I'm not saying that it's not yeah. good. It is good. It's just don't expect French toast. Next thing. She did get so much. I'm gonna need an insulin, insulin shot, shot after, after this. this. Thank God the tea's sugar free. Okay, this <laughs> is obscene. You need to like play sexy music. So wow, wow, wow. Look at that! It's huge. You've seen the Starbucks ones. 
You've gotten the ones at Disney because those are good. Those are good. The Breas, those ones are also great. And it's fluffy. It looks fluffy. You're just gonna take a bite. There's no cutting it in half. I was worried about, is it filled with chocolate? Because I was worried about chocolate that. Chocolate on the bottom. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you see all the napkins I have? Told you. I use lots of napkins. I love the taste of the chocolate. It tastes like dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. It's really good. They give you enough chocolate. You know how sometimes you get those ones at Starbucks and it's just like not enough chocolate? Good, good amount of chocolate. This is, that one's good. So great. Yeah. I understand why there's lines. Yeah, for this place. Yeah. I'm scared. Are you they both the same? I think so. They okay. both look the same. Okay. This is the guava one. Oh. The pastry is very flaky. Mm -hmm. Um. I don't know if it was the bite that I got, but I literally only tasted, um, no, pastry. I didn't get any guava in my first mm. bite. I didn't get any cheese. Mm. I got lots of the cheese, very little guava. There's the guava. It's squeezed out in the back. So it looks like a very thin layer. Yeah. Okay. That one's not my favorite. I think that would be the least favorite thing that we got out of everything. I love it because it's sweet. Yeah. It's not bad. Those will go great with coffee. Yeah, I just wish there was more of like a flavor in it. Like, you know what I mean? Did you not get a bite? I did. Um, maybe, maybe that child gave me COVID and I'm losing my taste already. I don't know. Taste that right there. Just pop that in your mouth. This is too big. Go for it. I thought it was delicious. The pastry is flaky. The filling was good. When you can get to it. It's a thin layer, as you guys saw. Yeah. Um, everything's good. Uh, potato balls, really good. That filling is, is yummy. That's like a lunch kind of thing. Uh -huh. I don't know how late they're open, the hours. Well, let me find that out. She'll find that out. Um, potato balls would be like a good thing for lunch. The ham croquette, is that what it was? Yeah. I didn't like the, the pastiness of the inside. Eight o'clock? Yeah. Okay. So you can come here for dinner. Yeah. Um, but try it. I don't, is that potato in there? No, it's ham and cheese. I don't know what kind of cheese it is. Okay. It was very pasty. Yeah. Um, and everything, these things need salt. Yes. Yes. I do like a ham, that ham taste. Yeah. But I didn't like that pastiness. And I'm not a texture person. Yeah, that French toast though. Man. Fire. Listen. This cake. I think the winner to me is that cake. Yeah, 100%. I love chocolate cake. Yeah, I know you do. It's very fluffy. That's the name of it. It's the fluffy cake. It's Dylan's fluffy chocolate cake. fluffy cake. Cho fluffy chocolate cake. <laughs> Dylan's fluffy chocolate cake. I highly recommend you guys uh, come and get that. Try the French toast, the Cuban French toast. It's so different. Good. It's good. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I would pass, so, because we will come again. Yeah. Like, this is gonna, like, if people come into town, we'll definitely come again. Yeah. Um, even maybe for breakfast with the kids. We should bring Chrissy and Eric. Yeah. So, yeah, so we'll come again. I don't know if when we come again, I'll ever get the ham croquettes. I won't. I don't like the pastiness. Yeah. It does have a ham taste. Mm hmm but I don't like the pacing, yeah. pastiness. This place is huge. This place is crowded. And this is the biggest of all of their locations. Yes. Um, so when you're in town and you're going to Disneyland and or Knott's Berry Farm. You have an off day. It's just down the road from Knott's Berry Farm. So it's 10 minutes away from Disneyland. Yeah. 
so it's not that big of a trip. It's worth the car ride. It's worth it. But heads up, they open up at so they open on Sundays. They open up at six thirty. Okay. Um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, they open up at 6.30. Monday through Thursday, they open up at 7. Okay. So, I recommend you get here at opening so you're not waiting in this big, long line. Yeah. Um, most of the people that come to Disney and stuff are coming on weekends. Yeah. So, yeah, come over here for breakfast. Yeah. Come for breakfast. 100%. Uh, you can get some wonderful Pastries things. Pastries for the room. You'll have time to walk around and look at everything in there. They have coffee. It smelled like coffee in there. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't tried their coffee, but it smelled very good. I'm going to say two thumbs up to everything. Yeah. Except the ham thing. Except the ham croquettes. Those we can live without in our life. And I don't know. I don't know about you, but that's not a croquette where I come from. Maybe in Cuba. A croquette. Maybe in Cuba, that's what they, how they form yeah. them. But, um, yeah, that one wasn't good. Uh, again, the winner is the fluffy chocolate cake. Dylan's fluffy chocolate cake for the win. Must try French cake. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. So, I think, good. I think it was a successful day. Yeah, give it a shot. Cordos in Buena so, Park. So, with that, our movie quote. Movie quote. So, from Encanto, because we can't find any Cuban movies. <laughs> Matabel says, Oh, and my mom, Julieta, here's her deal. Whoa, the truth is she can heal you with a meal. Her recipes are remedies for real. It's actually a song, the song she sings. Welcome to the family, Madrigal. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Why did you <laughs> Bye.